I'm Daniel Goleman, and I want to share with you why emotional intelligence is a key to high performance. Emotional intelligence refers to a different way of being smart. It's not your IQ. It's how you manage yourself and your relationships. There are four parts to my model of emotional intelligence. The first is self-awareness. The second is self-management. Then there's social awareness or empathy. And the fourth is relationship management. Within each of these four parts, these four domains, there are learned competencies based on the underlying ability that are what make people outstanding in the workplace. The self-management competencies are first emotional self-awareness, then emotional balance, positive outlook, the drive to achieve, and adaptability. The relationship competencies are empathy, organizational awareness, influence, being a coach and mentor, inspiration, teamwork, and conflict management. In Crucial Competence, my colleagues and I look at each of these competencies, what they are, why they matter, and how to develop them. Teams are emotional incubators. Social situations are the largest trigger of emotions in human beings. So when emotions are activated, they uh, are accompanied by bodily changes. They may be changes in breathing rate, they may be changes in muscle tension, they may be changes in heart rate. And emotional awareness, emotional self-awareness, in part, is the awareness of one's own body. When you get into the managerial or leadership roles, achievement orientation starts to have a, a less uh, pervasive benefit. And very often, if you're showing too much of it in a leadership position, you're inserting... ...which is positive, that people do not naturally resist change. They resist the fear of change or the pain of the unknown. So that it has to start with the mindset, change is good, problems are good, conflicts are good, so that you're already in that framework.